Hi, I'm Morgan. Good. I'm a junior from Lincoln North Star. Speed boy! And this is called Big Sister. You used to be the helping old grandma across the road, just to be amiable kind of soul. Missed as soon as it walked out of the room. I remember those days where you'd open my favorite, you'd open if you give a mouse a cookie, caressing the cover with your callus covered hands, your voice wrapping around me like a tight hug. But soon, the sweet softness of your voice became a never ending stream of bitterness. The joyfulness that used to flow throughout my life like water from a faucet surely became tapped out. My favorite story time books would start piling up dust, never to be opened again, like the doors you started slamming in my face, and I act like I hate you. But the thing is, I adore you. I can't stand you, but I wish I could hear your voice one last time. I have been looking through albums, trying to piece together my memories of you, but I can't even remember the sound of your voice anymore. I haven't seen you since you decided to pick some boyfriend over a family. Did you really think it was smart to try to get pregnant at 18? You walked out of the front door, leaving me in a blanket of loneliness, wrapping itself around my heart. And I used to whisper your name like a prayer. I used to think that looking up to you was like looking up to the heavens because I thought I could see angels in your eyes, but the devil is an angel too. I miss those nights where we'd sneak out late at night when no one was watching and we'd play on the swings until the sun came up. I put on the knack for everyone else. I was all fake smiles and bubbly attitude, but around you, I was myself. Those fake smiles finally faded into real ones. I miss the nights where I can feel your arms turn Slinky like arms turn as they made their way around my torso, holding me like her mother never did. Last time I spoke to you, you told me that you wished I was never born. Your arms seemed to have a mind of their own as they shot out, hitting me with a deafening cracking sound the next day, leaving tender black and blue marks shaped perfectly like handprints. Almost as if they were molded by cookie cutters, and those were my new Christmas presents. Every night, before I went to bed, I used to pray that you'd finally be my sister again, but God seemed to have bigger things to worry about because my prayers were left unanswered. And the good in people start seeping out the day they're born. Once, they use, once they've used up all they have, you'll think it'll be there forever. It's like a stream of water. You hide under makeup and ostentatious materials. These days, I barely recognize things as pretty. I am so used to your ways, I see through anything fake. I seek out acceptance from other people because it's something you never gave me. And I know. I know that I should apologize because you're not as simple as I wanted you to be. You didn't grow up to be who I thought you were going to. I wanted you to go back to reading me books. Holding me tightly. You aren't the type of sister to tell me if you love me. And I guess that's all I really want. 